Aloha, everyone. Hope you can all hear me well. Got this new microphone thing that um, hopefully is picking up the sound really well. If not, I'm sure someone will come on and let me know. So first of all, thank you all for joining. I appreciate you joining me on this Facebook Live. Um, absolutely uh, amazing times. Joanne, aloha. Hope you guys can hear me. You guys can hear me okay? I got this new mic thing that I'm using. It's a pretty cool little device. Um, so hopefully someone will shout out, yeah, we can hear you. Nice. Alicia's on here, very cool. All right. Hey, I got this uh, Corona, you know, uh, isolation beard going on. Hey, Sandy. So many people are logging in right now. Jocelyn's on, one of our team members. So good to see you, Jocelyn. Aloha, good to see you. I am here in California. I have a client tomorrow. I have a client tomorrow. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate you, man. Aloha, Brian. Um, I have a client tomorrow, absolutely um, really wants to do a breakthrough session, really wants to do some work and had to come out here anyway. So uh, really awesome that I get to work with someone and happy to be here in California. I would like to say sunny California, but it's, it's, it's overcast. It's still beautiful though. Overcast and beautiful. And um, how did you get your haircut? Yeah, I know, I got a haircut. I know a guy. I know a guy and um, he did me a solid, let me go get my haircut from him, so it was really good. And I'm glad, glad you guys can all hear me. Just trying out this beard thing, like I shared on a webinar a few days back. Never really grew the whole beard thing out at all. Oh, Alicia, you're with Chucky. Chucky, my man, how are you doing? Love you, Chucky, miss you. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all safe. First and foremost, let's start off. I hope you're safe and my heart goes out to you. If you're being affected by this, you know, these times, we are, everyone is, everyone's affected in some way, shape or form. Either you can't be with your kids like me or you're concerned about business or, you know, you're sitting there going, what am I gonna do, you know? And we had a scheduled topic about listening to your higher self. And I'm gonna talk about that. I'm gonna loop it in to what I wanna start off with. And I wanna start off by just absolutely being really clear. I'm saying this from my heart. I'm just from my heart and I'm connected with my higher self, which is the topic of today's Facebook. You know, today's discussion is all about connecting with your higher self and why would you wanna do that? And I, I just, I wanted to start off with just saying something and, and being as direct and blunt as possible. You got two options coming out of this. You can either continue to just stay at home and have fear and do nothing and say the world is never gonna be the same and we're all going to hell. And if that's the case, you might as well log off of this discussion right now. You might as well, because I think all of you who are my students, people who have been following me for a while, if you've been in a live training with me, you know I'm gonna do the opposite. And so let me go off a little bit. You know, on the last Facebook Live that I did, uh, there was a person on there. There were a couple people that messaged the office, that put up on Facebook, you know, the coronavirus is real and that has nothing to do with your mind and that, you know, my, my husband or my partner or my friend or my cousin or whoever it is, is in the hospital on the front line. Time out. I, I get it. I, I'm a doctor. I get it. I have students like Dr. Patrick Scott, who is a part of our halal, our school. He is a teacher. He runs a clinic in Nevada that has 20,000 active patients. One of his friends works at the CDC in Seattle at Ground Zero, where it's one of the most dangerous places. And I was just messaging him before I got on this, and he's like, things are coming down. About 20 states are planning on reopening. And he just has this really calm, centered, and balanced approach to it. Let's be clear, the coronavirus is real. So is this table sitting right here in front of me. So is the wall behind me. And I'm sorry, I just gotta be hyper clear with all of you and just totally understanding how the mind and body works. If you are in fear, if you have fear, if you are in fear of anger or sadness, you activate what's called fight or flight. I'm gonna keep it really, really simple. When you get into fight or flight, your body takes all of its energy, all of its reserves, and pushes it into your limbs. And it has to go back to caveman days to understand why. Because if a tiger or a bear or a dangerous creature was about to maul you, your body needed to take all of its energy 
and shove it into your limbs. Why is this important? Like who gives a rip, right? Why is this important? It's important because if you are in fight or flight, your body takes all of the energy out of things like your immune system, pulls it out of your immune system and puts it into your limbs. So you can either run or fight. Now it's really cool because if you're actually in a fight, then you definitely want your body to kick into high gear. <sighs> Problem is though, if you're in a situation where there's a pandemic, you actually want the energy focused in on your immune system. And if you are in fight or flight, you're not focused in on your immune system. You're focused in on your limbs, which is why people in stressful situations are either totally lethargic sitting on the couch because they become overwhelmed with the chemicals that get released and their body has to either sit down because that's called flight. Yeah, you're running from the situation or they're getting up and they're walking around. They can't sleep. They're in go, go, go mode because they are in fight mode. Come on, you guys. Let's just be clear about something really simple. The news gets ratings based on how negative they are and how dramatic they can make things. And yes, this is a horrific event. This is terrible. The virus is awful. And if you want to increase your chances of getting it, then you need to go into fight or flight mode and you need to listen to the media and you need to get scared out of your mind because then you for sure will drop your immune system and your body will no longer be handling anything that it needs to handle to keep you healthy because it is getting you ready for a fight or to run. It's just a simple biological fact. It has nothing to do with NLP, nothing to do with HUNA, nothing to do with my beard, has nothing to do with any of that. It has everything to do with how you are hardwired, period, that's science. It's not a mic drop moment. We've known this th for decades. I'm a doctor of integrative psychology. Integrative psychology 101. If you have a patient, a student, a client, and they are needing to be healthy, you need to reduce their stress because stress is the number one cause of a person derailing on their health and fitness, on their immune system. And if someone is in treatment for a life-threatening illness, you got to reduce their stress. Any MD knows this. Anybody who studied the mind body knows this. And it is the area of expertise that I focus on and we focus on at the Empowerment Partnership. So yes, we are going to be running events. It was crazy. We posted an upcoming event, the, the dates for it, and we got an email from the office, an uh, email at the office from a student, a student who's done trainings with us who was absolutely livid. How dare you run a live event? How dare you do anything live? That's dangerous, it's terrible. Are you kidding? If I don't schedule a live event, I'm contradicting these teachings. I'm contradicting everything that I have stood for my entire life and everything that I've learned since I was a kid. I'm gonna go back to an example with the Mayan calendar. You guys remember the Mayan calendar? You know, there were some people that absolutely believed that the world was gonna end. I mean, adamant about it, absolutely adamant about it. The world is gonna end, Dr. Matt. The world is going to end. It's guaranteed the Mayans had it down better than we do. Their calendar was more accurate. And I would sit there and go, but their calendar is a circle. It's not linear. They didn't think linear. So they believed that the cycle was gonna kick off a new cycle. No, 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 Dr. Matt, you're wrong. This is a 36,000, you know, big wheel. What's that song? Big wheel, keep on turning. I'm like, big wheel, keep on turning. The Mayans believed that when it was gonna end, the next phase was gonna continue. Nope, you're wrong. And one person looked at me and said, but what if you're wrong? What if you are wrong, Dr. Matt? And I said, I'm sorry. Then I would rather be wrong on my end than wrong on your end. Because if you're planning on the world ending, I know Joe, I got the beard going. My one friend Joe's on here and uh, beard inspired Joe. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, I said to this guy, I said, I would rather be wrong on my end. Check it out, listen carefully. I would rather be wrong on my end because I'm planning that this world is going on, I said. I'm planning that this world is going to continue, that the Mayan calendar is a circle and things are gonna come back to the way they were. Hopefully better, hopefully better. I'm gonna plan for that because if you don't plan for that and the world does continue, you're screwed. But if you're right and the whole world ends, then when we're in the afterlife, you can laugh at me. You can be like, ha ha, told you it was gonna end. The guy didn't like it. Shockingly though, the world continued. 
the world also continued after the 08 stock market crash, where my parents lost, ha lost half of their wealth. The world also continued after September 11th. Yeah, things changed. I think you guys get my point. Yeah, things are gonna change. I was told that on May 1st, I have to wear a mask no matter where I go when I'm here in California. Fine, I'll wear a mask. If I gotta wear a mask when I'm teaching, I'll wear a mask when I'm teaching. I'll get a good looking mask. Then I can keep the beard going. No one will even know. But here's the thing, you guys. I wanted to title this discussion, Why Do Anything? And I was gonna start it off with, here's my advice, give up. Life is gonna end, the world is over. Whatever living room you have, I hope you like it because you're never gonna leave it ever again. We all know that's bull. That's absolute bull. The world is going to continue. <laughs> Things are gonna have to get back to normal. Hey, Dr. Matt, what if you're wrong? What if they don't? Then you can laugh at me in the afterlife. You can laugh at me at the end of the apocalypse. You can say you were wrong. And you know what? Maybe one day I will be wrong and the world will end. But until the world actually ends, I'm gonna keep acting as if it is going to continue to move forward. And all of you should too. All of you 100% should. We have trainings on the schedule. Every single training we were planning on running this year, we still have on the schedule. Every single event we still have planned on doing. We are acting as if. And you know what, if California says you can't run a live event, then I'll go to a different state. Then I'll go somewhere else. We will run it wherever we can run it. Well, what if no state lets you in? Okay, we will find a way, I'll find a country, it doesn't matter. I am practicing the law of requisite variety. I am practicing the law of respecting other people's model of the world. And if someone doesn't wanna to come to a live event ever again, I gotta respect that. I'm gonna keep running them. Come to Texas again, Annette is like, come to Texas. Totally coming to Texas. We're scheduled to be in Houston and Texas. I'm teaching Houston. Never been to Houston, never taught there, you better be there. I don't care if there's only 50 people in the room or 500 people in the room. I'm gonna show up and deliver a great training. And you can call me crazy. You can say you're nuts, but I'm listening to my higher self. You know, my higher self, my, that true aspect of who you are, it's what Carl Jung said is the self with a capital S. It's the true aspect of who you are. That's who you wanna be true to. Not this fear-based aspect that the public out there pushes. Not this anger-based, fight-or-flight approach. I'm talking about the true aspect of who you are. And yeah, maybe this rant needs some grounding, so I'm gonna ground it. My gut says that we're gonna be allowed out of our houses again. My gut says that things are gonna return back to a place where you're able to be around people. My, my gut says the world is gonna keep on going. That's what my gut says. Maybe it's for a day, maybe it's for a year, maybe it's for a hundred years, a thousand years, I, I don't know, but things are gonna keep moving. They're gonna keep going. Are things gonna change? Sure, maybe you're gonna have to wear gloves when you go into a grocery store. You know what, in Italy, when you buy your fruit, you have to put on a glove and pick up the fruit so that you're not touching other people's fruits. Maybe we gotta adopt things like that. Yeah, maybe you gotta wear a mask when you go into certain situations, but here's the thing, here's the thing. It's gonna go on, so why not plan for it to go on? And all of you should, because if you sit there going, I'm not gonna plan anything, I'm not gonna book any flights, I'm not gonna schedule any time to do anything, then what you are literally saying is that your belief system is that the world's gonna end. You know, when you wake up in the morning, when you go to sleep at night, that first moment where you're doing that, it's where your higher self is present. It's where your guard is down, your critical faculty. And in those moments, you have to accept whatever you hear. And if you hear fear, we got the resources for you for free on our online learning platform at empowermentsuccess.com, on our app. You know, we, we got these resources for you so you can let go of negative emotions and you can let go of any limiting beliefs. I've done that, I practice what I teach. That's the only thing that I can brag to you guys. No, no one's perfect. No one is perfect. You shouldn't put anyone on a pedestal. The only thing that I got going for me is that if I have fear come up, I let it go. If I have anxiety, I let it go. You know, I'm looking at the numbers and I'm looking at how much money we have in the bank and thank goodness for a payroll protection loan that the government has. Yeah, we went for it because otherwise I'm not really sure what we would do. And if we don't need it, we're just gonna give it right back. If we don't need it, we're just gonna give it back. But I wanna make sure that we're here. I wanna make sure that we're, so I'm taking action. I'm sitting there going, yes, if there's assistance and you need assistance, you ask for it. I'm willing to ask for assistance. No shame, all of you should. 
If you need help, you gotta reach out to someone. But what you gotta do is you need to listen to your higher self. You need to listen to your higher self, your true self, and in that calm moment where you're just looking out at the beach and you're asking yourself, what's the true likelihood? Is the world gonna continue? Or is the news right? Is it gonna end? Should I even be watching the news? Should I even be listening to other people's interpretation? Should I be looking at other people's fear? Should I be buying into it? Or should I listen to my true self? In the moment where you're hearing your higher self, where you're connected with the true aspect of who you are, that's where you're able to see your path. That's what an enlightened person is. Enlightenment means that you have light on your path. It doesn't mean you know everything. It doesn't mean that you can experience all or know everyone's path. Enlightenment means you know your path. When you're standing in the light of your higher self, your Aumakua, your true self, you see your path, you hear your path, you feel it in your bones. And if you're watching this video, if you are listening to this on audio, if you are a part of these teachings in any way, shape, or form, I want you to dedicate a moment today, you should have a few, to just calming down, do a meditation, look into your heart, and know that things are gonna begin to get back to at least something like how they used to be, where you can go to a restaurant and not just pick things up and leave. That you can go into a grocery store, that you can shake someone's hand, because we as a society, we crave that. I don't care what any of those media outlets are saying. I don't care what governor is saying, nothing will ever go back to normal. You know it is. You know it's gonna get back to normal. I love what one of my hula sisters, you know, I dance hula and I drum, and it was the end of our HUNA workshop in March. The last time I got to be with a live, no, EMP, I did EMP in Arizona. The last time I was in Kona, and I was with our halal there, and we were getting ready to do our final performance. And one of the hula dancers, she showed up, and I hadn't seen her for, two, uh, for a week. She had been at the opening performance. And I walked in, and I went to hug her, and I stopped. And I said, are you good with a hug? And she said, we are locals. You can't stop us from hugging. It's how you say hello. She gave me a hug. She said, I trust that you would not give me a hug if you knew that you were not feeling well. And she gave my daughter a hug. She said, I don't know all of your students. She said, Ekalamai, that means please forgive me. Is it okay if I just put the lay on and, and say thank you? And I'm like, of course. I said, of course. I said, I wanna respect you. I wanna respect your boundaries. And I looked at all of the hula dancers and I said, Whatever you do, I'm grateful that you're here and you need, to, you need to be you. You need to trust your higher self. And she said, these people that are saying, you're never gonna hug again, you're never gonna, she's like, I'm a local. I said, I'm a local too. If I got the opportunity, I'm gonna give you a hug when I see you. Those of you who show up at LA, if I know you, come up to me, you hug me. Give me a hug. I trust you. If you're not feeling well, you wouldn't hug. That's what I gotta believe. I'm gonna be the exact same way. That's being true to me. That's hearing my higher self. That's listening to me, my inner voice, my pu'uvai, my heart. I want you to all commit. I need you to take a moment today to just slow down and ask yourself, what's true? What's real? The thing that the media is perpetuating, that everything's gonna end, or that things are gonna get back to a place where you actually can have contact with other human beings without fear, without anger, without sadness, without guilt. And we're gonna get back to a place where we as a society are connected with each other. I believe that's what's true. I'm a plan for that, and you should too. The second thing that I want you to do today, the second thing that I want you to do is do something that presupposes that you're gonna get back to a life that you remember, being able to be in contact with people. Plan a vacation, put it in your calendar, buy an airline ticket. Shit, man, they'll give you all your money back, you know it, but do something. I'm gonna do it too. I'm gonna 100% do it too. I'm gonna be booking my flights. I have been holding off on booking flights and I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is, I'll book my flights. I will book my flights and get some things going. I'm gonna book my next major trip that I need to do and show you guys so that you can see, I'm planning. Okay, well, Dr. Matt, what if it gets canceled? Cool, I'll move the flight. You think the airline's gonna stop us from doing that? But I'd rather book it and put the energy out there. You see, if enough of us start to put the energy out there that we know that we're gonna get back to having some amazing contact with people, if we put that intention out there, but not just in our minds, with our action. Action speaks louder than words. Action is so much louder than words. Do something today. 
After you meditate, connect with your higher self and do something, anything. Plan a trip, plan a vacation, put something in your calendar where you're gonna do it, I don't care what it is. Tell someone you're coming to visit them or just get the hell out of your house and actually go somewhere if you haven't for a while and pick up your own food instead of Grubhub bringing it to you. Do something because it's gonna put that energy out there. All right, I usually only go 15 minutes. You guys got an extra five minutes of rant. But that was a lot of hearts. In my hakalawa, I just kept seeing these hearts blowing up. I guess that's a good thing. Yes, if I go to Houston, bring on the hugs. Annette, 100%. You're welcome, Karen, of course. And hey, I wanna thank all of you for taking the time today to join in on this. I appreciate it. Thanks for hearing me out. And again, I wanna start off with where I began. Stay safe. You know, take precautions. I got soap, I got those, you know, sanitizing things. I'm staying away and yet, if I know you, I'm gonna come up and give you a hug and tell you how much I adore you and how I'm a lum of you to cherish you, okay? See you all on the next Facebook Live and until then, ahui ho, class dismissed. Love you all.